hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on Madden 19. Alright guys, here is what we're going to try to do. I'm trying to do something completely different on the channel. A um, little bit of trial here. I am going to deconstruct the Denver Broncos, relocate them to a different city, and then rebuild them. So, the first thing I am going to do is set them up to be relocated. So, all I really have to do here is hit relocate, and I'm sure, and then as I get into the season, it will offer me different things. So, basically, how I'm going to deconstruct the team, there's a few things I'm going to do, and I mean, this will be in, fr in phases. I'll go ahead and, you know, take quick breaks as I go through. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the roster. Anybody over 30 is getting added to the trade block. So I can then either decide to trade them or I can uh, then, you know, see what kind of draft pick I can get. Or I can also try to like manually trade them and see what I can get for them. So uh, as we're seeing here, it looks like a lot of the major players on on the Broncos are going to be gone. So it'll be it'll be a pretty interesting thing to see who ends up where and what kind of uh, team I can build. It's going to take it may take a couple seasons and then you know I'll do these simulations uh, you know simulate the season see where we end and then I can also um, play the playoff games. Like once I move the team after this season if they happen to make the playoffs, I will play the playoff games like I do on my other, on my Browns franchise and the 49ers franchise I've done. Um, you know, we'll go through and we'll see what's going to happen. So, and then, uh, so I'm going to do all the guys who are 29 as well and see what, uh, what everybody is going to give me. I want to make the team young. If I'm gonna move them and rebuild them again, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a lot of people on the trade block, and that will give me a a base a base to start with. So you know I can do a big draft too. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, look at who whose salary is huge. So it looks like most of the people Derek Wolf has a pretty big salary. So I'm going to go ahead and add him to the trade block. That way, if I get any sort of cap penalties, etc., cetera, um, you know, we can go from there. So there's not really anybody else who has a, a, a giant salary. Most of the guys who have the giant salaries are old. So, uh, so there's that. So that's what I'm going to do first. <clears throat> and then I will go ahead and see if there's any free agents I want to add to the team right off the bat. Who, whoever is here. Um, as I can see right now, it looks like no. So let's go and see if there's any young guys. Um, yeah, I don't really think so. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see which guys have off got any sort of trade offers. And then I will be right back to go through all that okay guys here we are in preseason week two so the the trade offers i've received i'm just going to go with whatever the best offer is so instead of wasting time going through trying to trade so Derek wolf two and a five two and a five there two six seven three so the best offer i got is a, is a second round pick this year in a fifth so i'm taking it boom all right, bye-bye, Derek Wolf. All right, let's see here. Von Miller, okay. He's like one of the best players in the league. He should offer. They're going to offer me a tight end. All right, two and a six, a three, a three, two, seven. Holy crap. Nobody thinks he's worth anything, huh? There's a first-round pick, but it's neck the year after next and a fifth. Anybody else offer me a first? All right. Green Bay it is. All right. See you later, Ron Miller. All right. What's next here? Ooh, Demarius Thomas, who is 30 years old now. What is he going to bring to the table? 
God, doesn't look like a lot. Three, four, six. Three, five. Three, six. Three, six. Ooh, two, six. I guess I'm going to take the two and a six from Buffalo, who is terrible, so the pick should be good. I mean, it's next year, but it's better than a, than a three. All right, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Chris Harris Jr. You old too, friend. All right, let's see here. So a two and a seven. That's the best offer I got from the Pats, so I'll take it. All right, two and a seven. See you later, buddy. All right, let's see here. And the last one's Emmanuel Sanders. Let's see what we got here. Three and a six. Three, four, seven. All right, I guess it's a three, four, and a seven it is. All right, see you later, Emmanuel Sanders. All right, so that is the first set of guys that I've gotten rid of. All right, let's go ahead and advance the week while we're on here and see if anybody else pops up. And I found a new injury, of course. Oh, some more trade offers. All right. My left guard, Leary. Holy shit. Pittsburgh's offering a first? First? Why does everybody all of a sudden want this guy? All right. Oh, because he's only 29. But yeah, that's all right. All right. God, I hate Pittsburgh so much. But New England's offering more. So I'll take that. I just don't want to make Pittsburgh good at, at all costs. And... Oh, my punter. Somebody wants to trade for the punter? All right, let's see here. What are we what are we going to get for this punter? Somebody. God, why do so many teams want this punter? Um, 4 and a 7. Looks like 4 and a 7 is a pretty consensus pick. I'll take Detroit's cuz they're technically the worst here. All right, so there's all of them. Let's go ahead and advance the week one more time, see if anyone else pops up here on my trade block, because this is week four, correct? Okay. Oh, somebody wants Case Keenum. Good. Get rid of his ass, too. Uh, three and a seven. Later, buddy. Boom. All right, guys. I will go ahead and take a quick break. I need to go ahead and fill up my team with free agents. And I may see if I can trade anybody, um, things like that. So I will be right back on that. Okay, and it looks like uh, this player, who was an 80 overall strong safety, I was able to trade to the Cowboys for a first-round pick next year. He wasn't, no one offered a trade for him, but that's what they did, so... Let's go ahead and simulate this over to week one. And I may have one more trade offer for the team here. Let's take a look. All right. So that is where we are at. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the team looks like here. Go ahead and organize the depth chart. I may make a couple changes. The team is pretty terrible. All right, so we got Kevin Hogan, 70 overall is our quarterback. Um, I'm actually going to put Royce Freeman first because we're running a power, and he is uh, the power back. So we'll do that. Uh, fullback, 69, terrible overall. These wide receivers. Um, we are going to have a terrible receiving core. Coral, <laughs> our Darius Stewart, Deshaun Hamilton. Whoo, that, that's, that's the receiving core guys. All right. We're going to put, uh, we're going to put Jake, Butt just cause his last name's, Butt in front of everybody else. They're 76. All right. And then here comes the lineman, uh, Garrett Bullis is 79. Ted Karras, 71. Matt Paradis, he is my best player, I think, on the team at 83. Right guard, we are a little lacking it. Right guard is going to be 69, Max Garcia. Actually, yes, that's true. All right, and then uh, Ladadrian Waddle. God, my, my fucking guys are terrible. So, all right, then uh, for my left end, it's going to be Howley Kikaha. And then we got Adam Gostas. 
and defensive tackle, Shelby Harris, Bo Allen, Adam Butler. Everybody is terrible. Uh, Shaquille Burnett is going to be my starting left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker, uh, Todd Davis. I mean, we all know him, right? we got Brandon Marshall, who is garbage. And Bradley Chubb will be the starting right outside linebacker. My cornerbacks, I do have a cornerback, Bradley Roby, who is over 80. So that's positive. Free safety, well, i got another 80 guy over 80. Uh, Justin Simmons. And strong safety is Sa'u Cravens. Kicker, Brandon McManus, he's an 80 as well. Uh, Brad Norton, the punter, kick returner, Cravon LeBlanc, and Jordan Taylor. Whew. And then Cravon LeBlanc. Oh, God, they are terrible. But that works. Works for me, dude. Let's get this party started. It's probably going to be a really bad season. And that'll be great because then I'll get great picks for when I become my new team in my new city so what i will do is i'm going to go ahead and start moving through the season and as we get to milestones i will uh i will uh, record a little more so we will be right back when something major is about to happen all right and here we are at week five and the team is zero and four which is not a surprise um people are injured no big deal start relocation Bad out. Let's see what cities we can move to. So the options we have are London, Mexico City, Toronto, San Antonio, Orlando, Salt Lake City, Brooklyn, Memphis, Chicago, Sacramento, Columbus, Portland, Austin, Dublin, Houston, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, San Diego, Las Vegas, and back to London. Well, since the crazy town is located in Austin, I'm thinking that that's what it, it, I'm going to do. It's either going to be the Bats, the Armadillos, or the Desperados. So I'm going to move Denver to Austin. Okay, so I'll be right back as soon as I get an opportunity to pick which team name I want to take and now it is time to pick the name of the team so are we going to be we're not keeping the Broncos we're gonna be the armadillos the bats god look at that stupid logo though or the desperados I think that's pretty clearly the best so we're going to be the Austin desperados all right, so let me go ahead and advance the week, and we'll go ahead and get to pick the uniform. Bow, let's pick the uniform. All right, what do we want here? Do we want, okay, popularity is only 10%. Mama Wolfpack says, might be a little too much gray for me. And then Mark Wolf, cool color stripe, bruh. All right, let's see here. Or we can go, that's the 40% pick. Very cool shoulder stripe, says Chris Wood. I'll guarantee I'll buy one of these if they choose this style, says Clint Fisher. Love the number font, and Austin Andy says. Boy, ooh, they love that one, though. Look at that. So gray helmets. Those are pretty sharp, I, I must say. Cedar Park Larry says, best uniform I've seen. Cesar Chavez says, I'm a big fan of the helmets. Pick this one. And Uncle Randy, love the black jersey with the gray and red. All right, I got to go with what the fans want. I'm going to go with this right here. Bow. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do this scouting off camera, and I will be back as soon as I can pick my stadium. Well, if you notice right here, guys, we finally got our first win at 1-6. We will not go 0-16 on this season before we transfer to Austin. So let's go ahead and pick the stadium here. Um, I'm not going to go with the basic stadium. I'm going to go with the advanced, the deluxe. So do we want a deluxe traditional, a deluxe dome, a hybrid, 
a futuristic or a canopy stadium. Let's see here. I'm going to go with the one that holds the most people. The deluxe traditional stadium. I think for Texas in Austin, that would be that would probably be the uh, the best option because football is crazy. Let's see what Jeff Frank has to say. This is the right way to go. Spend extra money and go for traditional. My son and I can't wait for the first home game. Love the old school stadium design. Looks like the Rose Bowl or a baseball stadium. Oh, that's great. You want a football stadium to look like a baseball stadium. Gridiron Legend DA. Off. Awful seats for the fans, pure luxury for the suites. Hashtag money. And you misspelled awful. So let's go with this one. Blad Ow. Let's begin construction. All right. So here we are at one and six. I'm going to go ahead and get through the rest of the season here. Um, I will touch base at the end of the season, uh, kind of go over where the team is at, things like that, before we fully transition over to the Austin rebuild. All right, and here we are at the end of the season. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and fire my coach. I'll get into the record here in a second. So he is fired. Yes, this, tr this tr uh, scout, I'm fine with firing him too. Oh, he's already going to be expired, so. No, so, and then I will keep him because he has world-class regression. I already have, I mean, I can't get much better than that. So I will go ahead and do that, and we shall advance to the divisional week. And we shall advance to the conference championship week. All right, so I can go ahead and hire staff. So who am I going to hire as my coach? Uh-oh, let's go, coaches. We got available. Um, What do I want to run here? Vertical zone run. I, I kind of want to run. Run and shoot, huh? This guy, Louis Rainier, he wants to run the run and shoot position. Or, uh... Offense. Oh, look at fucking Marvin Lewis. He's, of course, fired. Uh, multiple zone run. If anybody. West Coast power run. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go with the guy who does multiple zone run. Multiple power run. And multiple 4-3. Let's do that. We'll make him that offer. Uh, let's see here. Scouts. Who we want? Running back overall. QB overall. I need to get him because I really do need a quarterback. All right. Let's go ahead and try to do that. All right. So let's go ahead and see if I hire these folks. Time for the Pro Bowl. I didn't get the coach, huh? And let's see if any of my guys made the pro any of my guys made the Pro Bowl. Um no. It doesn't look like it. Nope. It doesn't look like anybody from my team made the Pro Bowl. Although it is hard to tell because they don't have their logo next to them, but I don't recognize any of those names. So, for anyone who's curious, that is the Pro Bowl right there. Hey, there's the punter I traded. He would have been on the Pro Bowl, maybe. All right, so we're going to advance to the Super Bowl. Go one more week. All right, I got to try to hire a coach. He, I guess, didn't want my offer, so he can go to hell. All right, let's see here. Who do I want to do? Vertical power run, I want... West Coast Zone Run, huh? Vertical Zone Run. Thomas Pitta, he's been in the game forever. Multiple Zone Run. Multiple Power Run. Oh, he hasn't... He hasn't, um... He hasn't 
accepted nor denied. Okay, I guess we're going to go one more. All right, so we're going to advance to the off season, And we will check out what happened. Okay. Whoo, 28 players ready to negotiate. All right, so I ended up. I'm now the, the Austin Desperados. Dun, 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 dun. So I ended up. So it looks like we'll go through the divisions first. So the Steelers were the only team. They won that division. The Titans and Jaguars tied and made it to the playoffs. The Patriots won their division. And I came in 6-10 and 10 with a team that was fucking garbage. So I'm eager to see what they did. The Lions actually won their division, 12-4. and four. NFC South, Falcons and Saints made the playoffs. The Redskins won their division and made the playoffs. And the Rams. So let's go ahead and get to this playoff schedule. We'll see who, who did some shit. All right, league schedule. We shall see who... All right, so the wild card. It looks like the Steelers beat the Raiders. The Packers beat the Redskins. The Titans beat the Jaguars, and the Rams beat the Saints. Divisional. The Titans beat the Patriots. Ooh, the Falcons beat the Packers. The Steelers beat the Chargers, and the Rams beat the Lions. The conference championship game. Pittsburgh beat the Titans, and the Rams beat the Falcons. God, please don't tell me that Pittsburgh won the fucking Super Bowl. Ooh, the Rams won the Super Bowl. Yes, no Pittsburgh. So, all right. So there is that. And let's go ahead and see how this team fared this season. See if anyone stuck out to do anything. Holy shit, Kevin Hogan. He had 3,800 yards, 500, uh, 16 touchdowns, 16 interceptions, which really isn't that bad, to be honest. Rushing. All right. All right. They didn't do all that great. Uh, yeah, 700 yards and 300 yards. Oof, kind of, kind of shitty. My tight end was the best receiver I had, which kind of speaks to the season I had. So everybody was kind of mediocre. Deshaun Hamilton almost pulled out the 1,000-yard season. Nobody had more than four touchdowns, but he did spread the ball around. Look at that shit. Touchdowns to, like, all those guys. So, and then defensively, did anybody do well? Uh, my, cor my two cornerbacks had <laughs> the most tackles on the team. That is fucking terrible. Uh... Seven six Shaquille Bar Barrett had seven and a half sacks. Any interceptions? Nope. Ooh, God, they're bad. How'd the kicker do? Eighty six percent. Ooh, punting. Average fifty one net. That's pretty good, right? Or fifty one average kick return. Any touchdowns? Oh God, everybody did fucking average punt returns. Again, pretty average. So. No, no shit, I gotta upgrade my team. So, go to the awards. We'll go to the yearly awards before we wrap this up and get to the off season. So, as you can see, none of my team was up for MVP. Uh, Matt Ryan uh, won the MVP over Tom Brady. Uh, and then we'll go to the AFC for Offensive Player of the Year. No one from my team. Uh, Tom, Tom Brady. Defense Player of the Year. Nobody from my team. Jesus, the Chargers have one hell of a defense. Look at that. Holy shit. All right, Derek Johnson, who is not young, won Defense Player of the Year. Rookie of the Year. Who? Oh, look at me. I had two. Darnold Mayfield, Island, who, Royce Freeman. Oh, that's good. That's my running back. And Deshaun Hamilton. He's the guy who had the sacks. Oh, and I had another one, too. Cortland Sutton. He was my, he was my uh, wide receiver. So... All right, I got three players that are rookies that are, I mean, that's pretty good. Three out of the first ten in rookies defense. Uh, let's see, Jesse Bates. All right, I had Bradley Chubb, and that's it on defense. So that is not bad at all. So best QB, my team is not there. Best running back, not there again. Wide receiver, mm -mm. as you can see. My team has a long way to go. Patriots had a bunch of best offensive, best defensive linemen. Nobody on my team. Whew. Linebacker, 
nobody on my team. Defensive back, nobody on my team. Kicker, third best kicker, bitch. Look at that. So there we have it. So it looks like uh, I'm going to go ahead and see who of these guys I want to re-sign, etc. And I'm not going to do that on camera because that would be entirely long and boring. Um, but what we'll do is we'll go and wrap this up. And this is the end of the first season of the deconstruction and relocation of the Denver Broncos into the Austin Desperados. So that is all the time I have for today's video. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment about what you thought about this. It's something new I'm trying out. If you like it, I'll do it with other teams. We'll see how it goes. So please make sure you let me know how you feel about it. Um, we also have a podcast here at the Crazy Town. It is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Links are in the description. But for Jonas, I will see you next week, next episode, for the off season to rebuild the Austin Desperados. I am.